Hey game developers, Bilal from Zenfinity.net and welcome to this main menu tutorial. Now in this video, I do already have a project set up here so you can go ahead and download that from the top right and then import that package or just follow along with your own scene. Basically we're just going to be showing you uh, how to load a scene and how to quit the application with a main menu. So I'm going to be starting with an empty scene here um, and the first thing that I'm going to do is just go ahead and create a UI panel. Now this panel is of course going to cover the entire screen and create a uh, canvas for us here and spawn an event system which is used for clicking and input in a UI system. So basically I'm just going to go to our scene view here and I'll scroll out a bit uh, because Unity doesn't, it's not often too friendly when you're spawning a new UI uh, element here but I scrolled out a lot basically and I'm going to hit T to switch to our UI management tool here. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Q through Q, W, E, R, and T will set all the different kinds of uh, game object manipulation uh, tools. So here, let's go ahead and start with making this smaller, basically. I'll kind of drag it over, uh, make it about this size. And let's uh, switch our anchor to be uh, to the left and middle. So, and I'll hold Alt to kind of drag this way on both sides. And let's look at the game view. And I'll drag the X position a bit more to the right. And there. So now we have a basic kind of backing for it. And I'll change the color of it to black. And raise the alpha a bit. Okay. So I know this isn't going to look pretty, but you can, of course, design it however you want to. Um, and now I'm just going to go ahead and add two buttons here. One is going to be the play button and the other one is going to be the quit button. So basically we can right click on our panel here in the hierarchy view and we can click UI and then press button. Okay, so now for our button, let's go ahead and uh, hit this drop down so we can see the text component. Uh, it's also a child here, so let's just change this text to say play. I'm gonna do all caps, feel free to do however you want. Um, and before I actually edit any of the text settings, I'm going to pull our button up here a bit. I'm holding left click and dragging to the right. So I'll pull this uh, play button up here a bit and I'll increase the width and I'll also increase the height. Okay, so let's go back to our text and I will drag our font size up a bit and about that size. Um, now keep in mind, like I said with design, it's not going to look very pretty. But you can, of course, always import your own fonts, your own sprites, and everything when you're uh, creating this. So we're just focusing on the code here. All right, so with our play button, that's all we have to do right now. But uh, we will be coming back to this on click uh, event list here. And then we'll use that to switch which level we're on. But first, I'm going to duplicate this button um, by hitting Control D. And it's best to name these, so why don't we go ahead and name this one play by clicking on it twice slowly. And then we'll hit enter after typing in play. And then I'll do the same for our quit button. Okay, now our quit button is behind our play button, obviously. So now with this selected, I'll go to our Y position and I'll drag to the left by holding down the left mouse button. And I'll change the text for this to quit, of course, because we don't want quit to be a play button. And now we'll just leave that how it is. And we can start working on our main menu script. Now this is going to be the driver for how we can actually switch between the applications. Since the main menu kind of is our driver for the application in Unity. You know, how do we go to the play scene? How do we go to the quitting? And, and uh, if you want to expand upon it, you'd probably include settings and maybe an inventory or a shop. So let's begin by creating this script that we're talking about here. I'll open the scripts folder and I'll right click in it and I'll hit C sharp script here. So I'll name this the main menu. Uh, we can just go with main menu actually for now. Uh, so why don't we double click on this to open it in Visual Studio here. And I'm going to just go ahead and delete all of this here. So all we're going to be doing is creating two functions that we can use in our buttons. So that's going to be play and quit. So let's just go ahead and create a public void play function and we'll hit public void, sorry, we'll create a public void quit function here. Okay, now for quitting, all we have to do is call application.quit. Now, that's not going to work out um, in the editor 
with the editor, this will actually just do nothing. Um, when we build the game, though, we can notice that the game will close just like you hit the X button on any application. So feel free to test that out yourself. I won't be testing it in the video because um, it's just this one liner that will uh, close the game, stop everything, uh, just like if I were to hit X on Visual Studio, which I actually will do because it doesn't seem to be uh, compiling code. So let me go ahead and reopen this main menu, and we'll write the next part for our play. Okay. So here we'll write scene manager, and this is not going to be included by default. We need to write up here using scene management, but I can hit control period or alt enter on Mac and hit this using unity.scene management button here, and it will toss it up there so that we have access to it. Now we're just going to use load scene, and we will say one, as this is going to be based on the index of our scene in the build order. So let's go back to Unity and see what that means here. Um, basically, we're going to hit Control shift b here, and we're going to see that we have no scenes in the build. Now, we want to go ahead and add our scenes. Let's go ahead and make our menu scene 0. You can see the index over here by dragging it first. And then let's drag this main scene in second, which is going to be your game. If you're not following along with the tutorial files, um, just go ahead and drag your game's scene where you're actually playing the game in as the second index here, which translates to one. Okay, so so now that these are in the build here, uh, we can actually see this work. So let's go back to our code and make sure we have play loading the scene. Okay, and let's go ahead and hit this play button here. Uh, and if I hit play, oh, and what we forgot to do was actually go into the UI here and make sure that we assign these functions. So first, before we actually test this, we want to make sure that our panel here has this main menu script attached. Okay. Uh, and now our play and quit buttons are going to reference that main menu script here. So let's go to play. And over here in this on clicked event list, we're going to hit this plus and we need to get an object here. So I'll drag our panel here into this. And then over here, we can choose one of the components attached here. So let's pick the main menu component, which is the script that we wrote and attached. And let's put in play for our play button. And let's go ahead and do the same for our quit button. Oh, and we want to drag the panel. Okay, so we'll hit main menu and then quit. And like I said, our quit button should do nothing. So let's go ahead and hit play. And since we're in the editor, quit does not do anything, uh, and it will not log anything to the console once you build the game. So you could hit Control B to build the game, uh, and then run the application. It will close it. But if we hit the play button here, it will load this game scene that I have created. And this is actually from a different tutorial where you're able to fire bullets, so we can see firing. And in the console, once we hit the enemy, it will print that and it will delete the game object. So if you actually want to learn how to do this, go ahead and click that video in the top right uh, and definitely check that out if you want to learn how to make a uh, firing bullets game here. So that's actually going to be it for this main menu tutorial. Uh, that's just how to you know, uh, code this out to make sure that we can go from the main menu to any different scene or maybe pop up different UI elements or quit the application. Um, so if you want to make your first game faster, uh, there's actually a free ebook we have as well at the top right. You can click that to check it out. And it's basically an ebook that tells you all about the tools that you'll need to create your first game if you're new to this sort of thing in general and you kind of want to get an overview of it. Okay, so with that said, I will see you in the next video. And make sure to hit like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Talk to you next time.